Pesaro 2020. Nice, really cool, really different, really good. A lot of effort is put into them. And they look really nice and fantastic on the tableboard. Okay, but not only Poland is nominated for best painted, there are some other contenders. Let's move a bit on. Let's move to Italy. Knights of Aquitaine. Sylvanovs. Really good looking. The Limonic Legion. And then uh, really infernal, infernal, infernal dwarfs. Some lizard men from the uh, entrance from the Zaurian jungle. And a really, really fantastic diorama of orcs and goblins. It looks really, really, really cool. I totally love it. And not to forget, there are some warriors of the Dark Gods and when uh, models uh, did, did style, they are secured by the Wemper Covenants. And now I'll move on to the next uh, ones. Now I move to Lativa. We have some fantastic Zulvanovs. We have some really cool red elves, some knights of the kingdom of Aquitaine, some ogre cons, I guess, yeah, ogre cons, and uh, oh, here we are, here there are the infernal dwarves again. They are compiled by a really huge big army from the Saurian jungles. The engines are there and they are moving. And of course, there is an empire of Sunstall. And no, some vermins are there too. Well, let's have a look if there's some barricade. And now, move on to Switzerland. We've got another really cool Orcs and Goblin army here. We've got some, no, not some. We've got a lot of vermin from the vermin swarm. We've got some guys from the Infernal, but so from the Infernal that there's the Demonic Legions and some honest, or not honest, well, at least some dwarfs, some from the Infernal here, and some dwarfs from the Dwarven Olds. And the, the, the Silver Elves are on the march too. They're here. And now, let me have a look. Is there another army be set up for best painted? Yes, there is. Here we are in Canada. Let's have a look at the Swarven Holds, the Ruffs and the Hold. And then some really fantastic looking guys following the dark gods, some warriors, I've been told, accompanied by, um, by some uh, trees and some silver nerves. And of course, the Knights of Equite, with some really cool looking centerpiece models, followed by the dreaded elves. Accompanied by some uh, really infernal dwarfs and the, and the, legion, the demonic legions are marching with the dwarfs and the herds of the beast, the beast herds. Of course, some honest holding dwarfs from the dwarf nodes. And now, as a look at the infernal guy. 
they look really, really cool. But not to forget, some, some dead guys from the Vampire Covenant. She looked total glorious. And I guess, oh, another one? Okay, let's have a look at the armies from Finland. Well, I'm a little bit, um, well, Finland the table us. So I won't mention that their army looks, these look really fabulous. Those guys can not only play, but they can paint really cool too. Set here were the, yeah, there were some were the vampires and their covenant. The kingdom of Aquitaine is not in vain. Some Sylvans and some elves. Some warriors of the Dark God. So let's have a look from the front. Some And not to forget the demonic legions. And the Empire of Sunstall. And their dreaded peasants from the Dread Elves. Which I faced before. And the elven uh, number is not complete if you don't have some highborn ones. <laughs> And I get, yes, another setup for really cool, good looking armies here. And, and there, they're really fantastic, I think. I really, really, really love them. And now, I guess, I'll stop and start painting on my own army. And bye, I've got something to paint.